Hello, my name is Anthony, and today I'll be providing you with a short tutorial on how to use one of our new machine learning techniques, K-Nearest Neighbor Classification. This tool is a part of our most recent release of the White Box General Toolset Extension in which eight new machine learning tools were added to our library. Each of the machine learning techniques, including the KNN classification tool, require a software license to use. The KNN classification tool performs a supervised classification using multiple predictor, rasters, or features and training data. It can be used to model the spatial distribution of class data, such as land cover type, soil class, or vegetation type. The training data will take the form of an input vector shapefile containing a set of points or polygons for which the known, for which the known class information is contained within a field of the attribute table. Today, I'll be showing you how to perform a KNN classification using some sample classified data in white box tools. Please note that we will perform a KNN classification, not a KNN regression. Whitebox Geospatial does offer both tools within the general tool set extension, but for the context of today's video, we're just going to be focusing on the classification based technique. Before we actually head over to Whitebox Runner and load the tool, let's get familiar with the uh, sample data set. So I have uh, digitized some training sites and they have some class information which I can load. Uh, so you see forest, wheat, urban, industrial, corn, uh, water, and soil. And then we have a, some rasters, which are for a location in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And these will be used to build the model. So let's go, let's, let's head over to Whitebox Runner. So in Whitebox Runner, you can search for the tool either in the search box or you can access the tool through its uh, toolbox. Uh, the KNN tool is located within the machine learning toolbox. We could go ahead and load the tool. So the first input uh, input parameter is the input prediction raster. So let's go ahead and load those uh, raster layers we saw in QGIS. The next parameter is the scaling method. The KNN algorithm is based on the calculation of distance in multi-dimensional space. Feature scaling is essential to the application of KNN modeling, especially when the ranges of features are different. For example, if there are measured in different units. Without scaling, features with larger ranges will have greater influence in computing the distance between points. This tool offers three options for feature scaling, including the none, normalized, and standardized methods. Normalization simply rescales each of the features on a zero to one range. This is a good option for most applications, but it is highly sensitive to outliers because it is determined from the range of the min and max values. Standardization rescales predictors using their mean and standard deviations, transforming the data into Z scores. This is a better option than normalization when you know that the data contain outlier values. However, it does assume that the featured data are somewhat normally distributed or at least symmetrical in distribution. Let's go ahead and keep the uh, normalized parameter as the default parameter. The third parameter is the input training polygon to points. Let's go ahead and input those training sites that I showed you in QGIS. The next parameter is a class field name, which we have to actually get from the attribute table of the training data set. Uh, so that is actually called class. The tool is, um, the parameter is case sensitive. So make sure you enter the correct spelling and capitalization if required. The next parameter is the output raster file. We're just going to go ahead and save it as uh, KNN class um, one. Uh, the next parameter is a number of nearest neighbor. The default value is five. For today's analysis, five is enough. Uh, for your analysis, you may want to bump this value up into something more appropriate. The second last parameter is a, pra is a Boolean parameter called perform trade training data clipping. When this option is selected, each training pixel for which the estimated class value based on the KNN procedure is not equal to the known class value, it is removed from the training set before proceeding with the labeling of all grid cells. This has the effect of removing outlier points within the training set and often improves the overall accuracy. We're just gonna go ahead and leave that value as true today. And the last parameter is the test proportion parameter. This tool splits the training data into two sets, one for training the classifier and the other for testing the classification. These test data are used to calculate the overall accuracy and Cohen's, Cohen's Kaplan index of agreement, as well as to estimate the variable importance. This parameter is used to set the proportion of the input training data used in model testing. For example, if this value is set to 0 0.2, 
20% of the training data will be set aside for testing, and this subset will be randomly selected randomly. So we will go ahead and keep that value as 0 0.2. And now let's go ahead and run the tool. So the tool input outputs the class key and it outputs the model statistics, uh, number of test samples, test accuracy, training kappa. It also outputs the variable permutation importance, and then it will output the um, saved file. The overall, the tool took 12.5 seconds to run. Let's go ahead and actually view that tool in QGIS now. I actually created a palette beforehand to view the um, classified raster, so I'll go ahead and set that now. Um, and I'll quickly just set the mean as well. Soil, urban, water, heat. So as you can see, the KNN classification did a really good job to classify the um, image. Uh, we'll actually just quickly flip on the um, output raster. Um, that you, so the raster that we used to build the model, as you can see, I believe I'm just going to a good location. So here we have a cloud. It was classified as a cloud. Then it comes out as a cloud in the image. Uh, same thing with some urban area, water, forest, and so on. Overall, the classification performed well. And that concludes today's tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to comment down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching.